So this is first of all an official welcome to my channel. Um, just to summarize, and I'll do this at the beginning of every video, I'm a dude in my early 40s who decided that uh, instead of spending all my free time learning some real life skills or educating myself to better my career options, I'm going to do random YouTube videos about all the crap that I pick up on Kijiji and Craigslist. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's not the saddest thing you've ever heard in your life. I don't know what to tell you. Looting me, ho. I hope you know I ain't going nowhere. Are you rapping? Just better get used to me, ho, nigga. I must have blew on my jeans. Bought me a Jeep, cause I wasn't riding as much. My bank account looking weak. Don't look at me. I ain't got time for no fun. Yeah. Starting to feel like Tyrese. So I'm about to trip and maybe start crying or something. I might just. So anyways, uh, this is my first item, and this is the MSI GS70 uh, gaming laptop. Um, so before I get into the review of this laptop uh, in particular, uh, this was uh, one of my more recent purchases on Kijiji. I, uh, I'm fairly certain I purchased this uh, from uh, someone fueling a drug addiction. Um, my gain is their loss, uh, I guess. But uh, yeah, this one was uh, picked up in Brampton. And uh, if you've never been to Brampton or you're in the States and this is the first time you're hearing about Brampton, um, how can I describe it? Basically take like Detroit or for people in Canada, Hamilton, and then uh, take a massive just projectile diarrhea over it for approximately 37 minutes straight. Like I'm talking peas and peanut butter and whatever else you stuffed in your face the last three days, just hot lava pouring out of your asshole. Uh, that's Brampton. So I talked to the guy on Kijiji and um, he was pretty illiterate. Uh, he couldn't spell anything correctly. He answered my detailed questions with one or two word answers. Uh, and then tried to get me to meet in the parking lot of a Walmart uh, at 10 at night. So um, as much as I love getting shot in the face and anally raped, I decided not to do that. Long story short, uh, I was able to pick it up at his place and when he answered the door, uh, dude, he, I've never seen a person this rough in my life. He, he looked like he just snorted his last welfare check. Um, it, it was just terrible. And, and you know how if you ever go to someone's uh, house and they open the door and you get that little glimpse into their lives, like just that, that hallway or, you know, whatever room that door is opening into. In this particular case, it was the kitchen. I guess it was like a side entrance or something. I saw so much sadness and so much destitution. It was, it, it was terrible and yet surreal and hilarious at the same time. And I don't mean his suffering was surreal, but I mean, I just, you never think people live like this until you see it. And anyways, um, so long story short, I got this laptop, uh, and, and just a little side note, um, as, er, as recently as a year ago, I would have given my left nut for anything technology. Like I, I had two beautiful daughters who I love more than life itself. But if uh, a razor blade gaming laptop was on the line, um, I would have one beautiful daughter who I love more than life itself. I would have traded the other one for that thing in a heartbeat. I was just addicted to this shit, even though I never use it. Um, and this is kind of one of those cases. This is this is on the tail end of my wanting to play games and wanting to have the fastest and the best of everything. Um, and so, I mean, I haven't really done much gaming with this gaming laptop. Uh, so... Uh, yeah, what a complete waste of money. I am just, uh, it's one of those things that I use on a daily basis. And every time I use it, I'm reminded of the fact that I'm just a useless piece of shit. Um, and, and just throw money away on stuff like this. Um, but anyways, I, uh, so long story short, I went to the absolute armpit of Ontario, bought this from a crackhead and it's been pretty good so far. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to get into all the specs and stuff like that. Uh, you can use this thing called Google. Uh, I'm not going to do your homework for you. Uh, so quit being a dick. So here it is. It's red. It looks sexy as shit. Um, the keyboard, it lights up. You can change the colors. Um, the keyboard is kind of crap to type on. 
uh, you're always going to make typos. The space bar is mushy. So I know it says Steel Series, which makes you think, oh wow, that's like a name brand, isn't it? It is. Um, they just tack it on here because this is really a crappy keyboard. Um, so yeah, ports and shit. It does stuff. Uh, it's a 17 inch laptop, full HD. It's got a, uh, i7, I don't know, Haswell CPU, the fourth generation, uh, it has 16 gigs of Ram. Uh, and now it has, it has three hard drives. It has two 180 gig SSD hard drives in RAID. Uh, and then it has a big mechanical drive, like a 750 gig mechanical drive. I guess the idea is the uh, RAID SSDs for your operating system, the mechanical hard drive for all the games that you're going to play instead of knowing the loving touch of a woman. Um, just a side note here, if you have a laptop in 2018 and it doesn't have an SSD drive, fuck you, okay? You are an asshole and you deserve to be slapped in the nutsack. Like, I, I don't get how people do this. I. I do some work on my father-in-law's laptops from time to time, just like reinstalling operating systems and making them a little faster. And every time he gives me one with a mechanical hard drive, I, just, I cry blood. Like it is, I don't know how people lived. It's one of those things like, what did people do before air conditioning or before cell phones? What did they do before SSD hard drives? They sat there with their dicks in their hands waiting 20 minutes for Windows to boot up. Just ridiculous. Uh, at any rate, all I've known for the past five years at least has been SSD drives. So, I, I mean, I don't really tell the difference between RAID and not RAID. It's fast. It's good. It does what it's supposed to do. Uh, my porn loads in record time, which is all that matters. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and that's that's basically it. The, the graphics card is a GeForce GTX 970. Um, it's, it, it's, I guess, that last generation of pretty powerful GPUs before um, VR shit came into play. Uh, listen, if you have a laptop and you brag about the fact that your laptop can do VR, uh, you are you are what's wrong with America, all right? No one needs to do VR on their laptop. Get like an actual desktop rig, put it in a separate room in your house. So, you know, it's like an event. You go and do it instead of just having it on your coffee table so that you never have to get outside and talk to people. Um, there's no need for a laptop to be able to do VR. It's just, it's stupid. Uh, but anyways, the, the 970 in this thing, uh, it plays everything uh, as well as can be. Um, I've never had any lag or any stutters or anything. Now, mind you, I have, in my old age, grown into a giant nerd. Uh, all I play is Civilization games. Um, I, I, I think I have some tumor growing in my head or something that's making me weird. Uh, Civilization 6, um, when I'm feeling really randy, I'll do Civilization 5, uh, and then when I've lost the will to live, I'll do, uh, Alpha Centauri. Uh, but anyways, that's all I play on here. I have games like Fallout 4 installed, and they run really, really well. I just don't have the time to play a game like that because I have jobs, and I have a life, and... I can't just devote four hours a day to playing Fallout. Um, yeah. Uh, also, Sims 4, Fortnite uh, for the kids because they love those games and I don't know why. Um, but, uh, but screw them, they're little life sucking leeches, anyways. Um, yeah, it's just uh, another couple of notes. It's nice and thin, uh, it's light. The battery lasts. Uh, Maybe a couple of farts, um, not very good, but it's a 17 inch gaming laptop. If you get one for battery life, uh, you just, you're a terrible human being. And, uh, and yeah, so that's my, that's my short review of, uh, of the MSI GS70 that I bought from a crackhead in Brampton. Um, before I sign off with this video, uh, one more thing. Never go to Brampton. I, I cannot stress this enough. There is nothing good in Brampton. Brampton is just sadness. Uh, and if you live in Brampton and you're watching this video and you're being critical of me, uh, listen, dude, you live in Brampton. I, it, 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 yeah, it just, I don't care what you say. Uh, you live in Brampton. You 
you, you should barely have the right to live at this point. So anyways, uh, that's my review. Um, I'm supposed to say click like or subscribe, uh, but every time I watch a video on YouTube and someone does that, I just, I hate them. I think it's stupid, so do it if you want. Uh, if you want to see more of these videos, awesome. If not, uh, go watch some cats humping or something. I don't give a shit. I need to hear some more rapping. I'm just not impressed by your cash and your jewelry, huh? Oh? Are you my soldiers? And I'm a lieutenant. God damn it, you should be saluting me, huh? Oh? I hope you know I ain't going nowhere. Are you rapping? Just better get used to me, huh, oh, nigga? I must have blew on my jeans. Bought me a jeep, cause I wasn't riding as much.